Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today I will guide you how you can set up AI integrated help desk using the Fluent Support WordPress plugins. I always wanted to build my own business of developing WordPress themes and plugins. So I developed a few products and they are gradually gaining popularity. As my products gain popularity, I am also receiving more support emails which I see as a positive opportunity for me to spot and resolve bugs quickly. However, uh, to manage this effectively, we need a reliable help desk system that makes it easy to provide top-notch support for your products. If you are a WordPress developer and you have products on wordpress.org, you will notice WordPress comes with a built-in uh, support forum. Uh, but it has some limitations. The plugin support forum is integrated into the main WordPress support system. So all WordPress roles apply to your plugin support too. You can't ask users for their login credentials. This basically limits the troubleshooting options also. Branding and copyright guidelines you must have to follow strictly. It's challenging to distinguish between free and premium users and you can't assign specific support agents to individual tickets which can make managing support more difficult. So let's dive into the main plugin setup process. When we go to the Fluent Support plugins page, it prompts us to set up our business inbox. Let's add our business name then the email address and then we need to select the support page where uh, the portal will be created and we need to uh, add this uh, portal short code on that page also. After that we can select uh, the fluent form if we want to create a visual form for uh, support. So uh, we can select that and hit on continue. After that uh, our inbox will be created. So uh, if we visit the dashboard you will notice our dashboard is ready and uh, if you check the business inboxes you will uh, find our business uh, name is added on the business inboxes you can add multiple inboxes if you want now we will add the short code that we copied earlier on the support page so we can access the support portal easily so i have added this short code here and hit the save button and if we now visit the support portal uh, we can't access actually because we are already logged in as the support agent so uh, I will just copy the URL and open in the uh, incognito mode so I already logged in with a user account and here I will create a support request to show you how this work we can select the priority of the ticket and hit the submit button and our ticket is submitted to the portal so a support staff will uh, check the message and reply us from the dashboard a support staff can easily find the ticket and they can reply after opening the ticket you can easily reply with this icon so if I click on this and here I can add uh, my text what I can I, what I want to reply so uh, we just need to uh, write our reply and we can hit uh, to add reply later I will show you how you can add AI integrated reply here so if you want to uh, reply you just need to click on this icon and you can add your reply also if you want to add any internal note using this icon you can easily add notes uh, to your tickets if you want to change the uh, support stuff like uh, you are a general support member uh, support team member you can easily assign the uh, technical members to this ticket when user will check their end and they will get the reply and they can also add their reply also using the global setting you can set uh, everything you need to maintain your uh, support system smoothly so I will show some of these features so you can set up on uh, your support portal as well here you can add uh, ticket tags if you want to add uh, some tags that uh, you can add later like uh, you can add plugins I have two type of products like plugins and themes so I will add 
and the tag plugins and then theme so uh, this will help me to uh, distinguish between uh, different uh, type of tickets so if the uh, ticket is related to plugin I can just add the tag and it will uh, be separated from other uh, tickets so uh, someone uh, who is working only with plugin related issues he can and just uh, take care of these issues and uh, we can add another tag like themes and devs so development related tags uh, we can add or we can add marketing related tags so uh, you have to add tags uh, depending on your need and then uh, we can check the uh, ticket form configuration section here you can uh, enable this knowledge base suggestion if you need in the ticket form you can create knowledge base resources that will help you reducing the number of tickets you can create a separate post type and answer all the topics that your users might ask so if they get solution from here they won't create the ticket and then uh, we have custom fields that basically add a different type of fields on our support form and then products so uh, I have uh, different type of plugins like one is flex button so I can add a product uh, like this one and I have few more plugins we can add all this as products and later uh, if the issue or ticket is related to that product we can just select that and if a person is managing a product we can assign it to them uh, this also helps to automate our uh, tickets like uh, I will show how in few moment how you can set up uh, workflows on your uh, support ticket system so let's add all the uh, products first I have a theme called breeze theme and I will add uh, that product here as well then we can add support stuffs like uh, if uh, you want to add more stuffs you can just add from here you can check all other settings but uh, I will now focus on the AI feature which we can set up from this open AI integration setting once you make the successful connection by adding the API key or access code you can use any version of chat GPT so let's learn how you can register an open AI account and get the API key to enable the feature on your support ticketing system to register your account you have to visit platform.openai.com I will add the link in the video description so you can register your account here and after uh, registering you have to visit the settings section and here you have to visit the API keys section and create new secret key so we need to give a, a project name here and then select my project so let's give drag WP and select default project and then create secret key so we will copy this secret key and come back to our dashboard and here I will add I will paste the access code and then select GPT version which one I want and then click on verify open AI so our open AI is verified so uh, let's open a new ticket again I have added the text and here uh, we can select any product let's select the health breeze theme and priority to medium and click on create ticket so our uh, ticket is created and if I visit from the dashboard let's go to ticket section and here is our uh, ticket created so let's open the ticket and this is the uh, ticket uh, we received from the customer after receiving the ticket we can analyze uh, the ticket with this AI feature like uh, if I click on ticket summary it will uh, tell us the main points what uh, are in this ticket so we can get an overview and also uh, we can analyze the customer sentiment so uh, this is a neutral uh, sentiment uh, you can analyze all the positive or negative sentiments with this and 
uh, when you are replying uh, you can also use ai feature like ask uh, ai uh, like uh, if uh, we give some prompts here uh, it will write a reply for us so let's give some prompts based on our prompts it uh, gave us a reply so we can just click on insert content and it will be inserted on our uh, reply section so uh, we can uh, add or delete uh, some text from here and then uh, we can just hit on add reply so this made our task easy and uh, we can uh, also automate our uh, signature if you want i will show how you can do that with short code but let's now add our name as signature and uh, i will hit on add reply button so our reply has been added you can add product tags like theme plugin or uh, the things we added earlier so I will add theme and uh, we can add dev also. Let's check from the user end again. So if I reload the page, you will notice our reply has been added. So user uh, can reply again. In the dashboard, uh, I can see the reply has been added here. If you want to add any internal note, you can do this as well. You can add some templates here uh, that you can use uh, to reply later. To create templates, you have to click on saved reply options and here you can create saved replies. So let's give it a name, provide more information and here you can add your text. While adding text, you can add short codes like customer first name. So after the word hello, customer first name will be displayed and you can add your uh, text what you want to write. And later you can just use this provide more information template uh, to make reply quickly. While adding your templates, you can select a product. So we can use this template for that specific product also. If we now edit that uh, ticket again and if you go to templates section, you can find the template under that uh, product. So I selected the health bridge product and if I click on that template, it will automatically add here and uh, the short code is uh, showing but when you add the reply, it will add the user's first name here. So uh, our first name is added and reply is created now i will discuss about the feature workflows this helps you to automate your support system with some workflows before we enter on the workflows section let's add another support stuff so we can easily describe the workflows we can assign different staff for specific tasks that's why we need multiple staff in our help desk system Let's give uh, the name sales lead and keep this manual and then hit on continue button. So our workflow has been added and now we will add uh, some actions like uh, we can add an action like add response. So when someone will uh, run the workflow, uh, it first add a response with that customer's first name like uh, I added the short code customer first name and my uh, custom message for that ticket. You can select any agent uh, from this list and then uh, you can just add another action. So let's add uh, assign agent action for the second step. So here I will select an agent like let's add Mark Steve here. And we can give uh, the action title 
give uh, this action title to initial reply created let's add another action which is uh, add tags and we can add a tag like marketing as this uh, workflow we are setting for marketing related ticket after that I will make this uh, status published and update the workflow so uh, let's create another ticket you can select the product and priority and then hit the uh, create ticket button so our ticket is created uh, if we now check from dashboard or support portal let's go to tickets section again and open our uh, newly created ticket so this ticket has been created and if you check uh, you will notice uh, our uh, workflow is listed here so when you set up workflow uh, you will find this button and you can run the workflow so uh, when I run the workflow uh, uh, initial response created and marketing tag has been added also you will uh, see the uh, support agent mark step has been added on our ticket also so this way you can uh, easily set up workflow and that will automate your support uh, system let's uh, add another new workflow which i will set to automatic so uh, let's select automatic and give it a name technical support we can give the name technical support uh, for this uh, automation and hit on continue after that uh, we will select workflow trigger like on ticket creation so uh, when someone will uh, create a ticket and the workflow will generate automatically and uh, we can select the a ticket title and then operator is contains so uh, if uh, this ticket title contains the word error uh, we can auto, uh, we can run this workflow so we can add another word like broken so uh, and then uh, we can add an uh, assign agent response here so I'll uh, select an agent name from here and let's give the title technical staff assigned let's add another uh, response which is add tags so i added the tag dev and then uh, change the status to published and update the workflow so our workflow is ready and uh, we will create another uh, ticket now to test if our uh, automation is working or not in the title i will add the word error so uh, our this ticket uh, goes uh, under that uh, specific word workflow and uh, let's create the ticket and i will now check from the dashboard so let's go to tickets section again here our ticket is created and if you open we will notice that uh, this ticket has been created with the tag dev and agent is uh, selected that one i selected earlier so these are some important features that will help you creating a powerful help desk system for your wordpress products i will add all the related resources links in the video description so you can use the plugin to make product support system for you if you have any question please comment below and thanks for watching the video.